Hello, Mississippi Conference. October is here and I'm looking forward to, yes, some cooler weather, some pumpkin spice lattes and the taste of caramel apples and believe it or not, maybe even a funnel cake at the Mississippi State Fair. Fall is a season of change and new beginnings. And I can't think of anything more transformative than a commitment to regularly engage in the living word. If you've been participating in the 2023 Bible Challenge since January, I want to say great job, fantastic, and keep it up. We, believe it or not, are two months from the finish line. Now I know there were bound to be times when you missed a day or maybe two days or maybe even a week and you may have not even started, but there is no judgment in reading God's word. But now is a good time to get in the word of God with everything going on in Methodism. As I have traveled the state doing the Bishop's Chat and Choose, Many people shared with me, clergy and laity, that the Bible challenge has reinvigorated them to read the Bible. Some was even very transparent to say, Bishop, this is the first time I've ever read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. To me, that means that people see the importance of having a daily set aside time with God. Just like it's important to drink water, and eat food every day, it's important to feed on the Word of God daily. Now, here's a quick quiz. We've done this before for all you Bible scholars. Number one, throughout the book of Ezekiel, God addressed Ezekiel by a title when he gave him a vision or mission. What phrase did God use to address Ezekiel when he told Ezekiel to prophesy. A, chosen and faithful. B, son of man. C, mighty man of valor. Or D, my child. Well, the correct answer is B, son of man. Question number two. When an angel came to Zechariah, the man was riding what color of horse? A, red. B, white, C, brown, D, black. If you said A, red, hey, that's right. According to Zechariah chapter one, verse eight. And here's the last question. What plague did Joel describe that hit Judah? A, boils, B, darkness, C, flies, D, locusts. The answer for all your Bible scholars, it is D, locust. Well, that's all of the Bible trivia fun I have for you today. Please make sure you visit the URL on the screen. It's the headquarters for all things Bible challenge, including any graphics and monthly scripture plans. Lastly, again, as I've said before, I'd like to hear from you to share with us some of the ways in which you or your Sunday school class or even your small groups or an entire congregation have decided to participate as a group in the Bible Challenge. I look forward to hearing from all of you and maybe we will share with the conference what you all are doing. Well, happy reading.